Hey guys, Ryan Rakowski here, and I'm going to be doing an Amiibo unboxing, and it's probably not what you're thinking. I'm going to be not, I'm, I'll be opening this Lucario one up, but, but I have another special treat for you. I managed to get the, the Me 3-pack, Amiibo 3-pack, from Toys R Us, super early. Yeah, that's right, folks. How is this possible, you may ask? Well... Let's uh, go back just a little bit. So, my Toys R Us, they had these on display. I reached over, well, I, I was originally showing up there to pick up some restocks, and I that's why I got the Lucario. But I saw that in display, and I'm like, how can I pass that up? So I went to the, uh, the cashier with it, and she let me take it. But uh, as I was getting it from the cashier, the manager started to take them off the shelves. So I thought it was pretty interesting that I was able to probably get one of the, probably the first ones to uh, probably purchased. Um, if you look at the receipt, um, if you look at the receipt, it comes up as merchandise instead of the Amiibo three pack. So it's not even really registered in their system. So I thought that was interesting too. Okay, let's do a small test here. I wanted to compare the size of this Amiibo 3-pack compared to the other uh, sets of uh, Amiibo 3-packs that have come out. Let me just adjust my tripod for one quick second. So, I have... Here's the back for a second here. Here's the, the card for the Retro 3-pack and you look at the size, the Amiibo 3-pack for the Miis is considerably smaller. Probably have about an inch on both sides. Um, Height-wise, it's the same, so that's not really all too new. Um, it's slightly larger. Here's the uh, very awful Splatoon card. It's almost the exact, I think it is the same size as the Splatoon card. Yeah, it's the same size as the Splatoon card, so um, it's the same size as the Splatoon uh, Amiibo 3 pack. Alright, I'll take some photos of the 3 pack, I'll do some close ups, and then I'll tear this open so you can see it. All right, so I am done with the dangerous part of the unboxing, and that is removing the Amiibos from the card. And I do that by taking a knife and cutting down the edge of the, uh, the plastic so you can still retain the card. So here's the card. I'll take another photo of the card, and I'll have that included with this. But I just think it's kind of interesting how... Um, they have, I guess, never mind. I'm being silly. This is a, a pretty cool card. Here's the back again, if you want to see that. Again, I'll have another photo of it. Um, for the Amiibos themselves, there's, uh, they got those uh, same uh, metal, or not metal, but the the blocker so you can't uh, scan them in the box and I think they're, they're a different a different kind because uh, I'll have to look at the Lucario one in just a second but this look it looks and feels more like a like a metal tape than the uh... oh that's aluminum yeah, that, that feels like aluminum. Huh, interesting. It's no longer the uh, the other things, but uh, let's take them out one by one. Here's the sword fighter. Uh, let's see. Here's the gunner. A 
think she's my favorite. And the brawler. He's pretty cool too. So, I guess looking at them, um, just trying to com compare their last qualities. Um, the head of the brawler feels a lot like the plastic cap on Mario, like that same uh, same type of material as opposed to like the Splatoons that have more of a plasticky finish and are more shiny. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, the Amiibo 3-pack unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, see ya.